Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about uh, how moisture gets into your um, construction equipment and machinery. By the way, I have some uh, peacocks over here, so if they start squawking, you'll know where, they're, where it's coming from. Um, here's two of my uh, uh, pieces of equipment. Um, I'm standing back here so you can see both of them at the same time. Uh, if you, uh, notice the skid loader's uh, cylinders that lift the bucket are practically horizontal. On some models they're pointed downward. But then look at the case. Notice how the cylinders that lift the front bucket are tilted upwards. There's a rag there. That rag is to keep the moisture from condensate or rainwater diverted away from the front seals. Those seals are never 100% tight, so water is going to get in there. Hydraulics on any piece of equipment is usually uh, a sealed unit, uh, and the only way water can get in there is through uh, cracks or small openings like that and over time it accumulates in the hydraulics. Notice the legs on the uh, case are down. The cylinders are pointing, the, uh, the rod on the cylinders are downward. Little chance of water getting past those seals. It's just going to run down. Now when those legs are lifted, the cylinders are pointing upwards, uh, the rods are up, water can get in and that's what happens. You, when you park your equipment you should always park them with the legs down. The same thing goes for the uh, backhoe. Uh, notice the cylinders that lift the whole boom are pointing downward. I have rags at the end of them and that's to help uh, defray any of the water or moisture. Uh, there's one cylinder above it that uh, moves the end of the arm and uh, that one's pointed upward and I have plastic around the top end of it. Uh, farther down on the bucket that part the cylinder is pointed downward and even when you have the whole boom up no water is going to get through there. Okay. There's the, the legs are pointed downward. Water runs down and doesn't go past that seal. Here's the skid loader. They're horizontal. Now take a look at the bucket tilt and you'll see they're pointed downward. That's why on a skid loader you rarely get water infiltration. But on something like this, this was a poor design. They should have had, uh, they should have had those cylinders on the side here that lift this bucket, um, pointed either horizontally or downward. And they do on some of the newer models. Notice the bucket tilt, they're pointing downward. Therefore, no water can get in. And that's how you get water into the system. Um, another thing uh, you should know uh, you can uh, recycle the, uh, the hydraulic oil yourself. You just drain it into five gallon buckets and put a heating element in there. I usually use a, uh, uh, a heating element from a hot water heater. I connect it directly to 110. I had a thermostat on it, but you don't need that. It doesn't get hot enough with the thermostat. Uh, just connect it directly. The water will, uh, the hydraulic oil will boil away all of the water. It will take a little while. You'll see it boiling and you'll know when it stops because the boiling uh, will stop uh, boiling and basically heat up because the oil takes a much higher temperature to boil. Okay. So that's how you get water in your system. Thank you.